Right, hello everyone, it's Dave from Zero OGY uh, in uh, North Lincolnshire. We're just uh, bringing you the, the review of the new Magnum 1012. Uh, this is the new Mark II version with a few uh, upgrades from the earlier one that was uh, launched, uh, I believe, back end of November, early December. Uh, this is a uh, 10 and 12 meter amateur radio handy talkie transceiver. Uh, where it differs from a good number of units, it does have AM, FM, upper and lower sideband. Uh, there has been radios before with sideband on 10 meters uh, handheld types, but um, this uh, there hasn't been many, and this is a, a new one to the market. So uh, we'll have a bit of a look at it today, see what we think, um, and uh, as we said, it's the uh, later version. I've had it uh, probably three weeks. I've had a uh, few things going on, so. Uh, uh, it's the uh, earliest chance I've got to uh, get to the unit, so apologies for that. Right, the uh, the the unit comes in this uh, white box. It comes uh, fairly well packaged. Comes with a there's a strap there which uh, so you can wrap it around your wrist. Um, makes it look a bit like a handbag, so I'm not into that. Yeah. Also got uh, the uh, instructions um, there, so. Uh, Right, these, this is the main unit. You get the main unit, which is the uh, top part, and the battery pack. Now, the battery pack isn't like uh, a lot of units where it uses uh, the lithium iron type things uh, that uh, are quite expensive. This battery pack, it, uh, you slide it off the bottom. As you can see on the left hand side, there's like a little uh, release knob and it slides to the left. Uh, and then it splits in half. I'll show you that a little later. But um, you split it in half and there's uh, nine AA batteries in there. There is a socket for charging them if you put rechargeables in, which I'd certainly recommend. As this radio does 5-7 watts output and uh, normal run-of-the-mill batteries won't last too long, I'm sure. Right, just uh, looking at the unit, that's above, that comes with it obviously, and with the antenna. It's just a BNC type antenna. Um, vertical like a rubber duck type whip I guess as you would call it. Uh, there is other antennas I've seen available some guys run with centre loads probably a wiser choice if you want to get a little bit more distance um, obviously you can put a, uh, an adapter in the antenna socket and run it on a, a normal you know 10 11 meter uh, ante base antenna or mobile so if you want it in your can. Right just uh, have a look at the controls on the top of the uh, near the antenna you've got the clarifier unit uh, that's obviously for tuning your SSB signals um, next to it you've got your volume on off there's like a grey um, oval I would call it rubber grommet that covers the uh, mic input you can have an external mic which is a, a good idea then you've got your display which uh, has a nice blue backlit I'll show you that when it's running uh, square function on the left you've got a, a button there saying band if you can see it now the earlier version when it was uh, it came you could uh, it had CB channel 9 and 19 on the earlier one now this was when it was uh, enabled for the CB bands um, and you couldn't use it for on uh, between 10 and 12 meters, which uh, was you know a bit of a pointless thing. So what they've done on this Mark II version, uh, they've convert put that uh, push button to uh, between 10 and 12 meters, which is a lot better. Right, looking down the left with various uh, controls, uh, I do need to read a book, the book a little more myself. Uh, to suss them out, there's a mode control, uh, there's direct frequency input, uh, the bottom large button is your press to talk, your PTT, then uh, you've got uh, up and down, there's no channel change as such on this, you've just got up and down buttons uh, to go up and down your frequencies, um, and then you've got like a, a, a menu type button at the top, I think it is. Right. Just uh, going back to the PTT while I remember. Right, when this radio comes, it, it comes obviously 10 and 12 metres amateur enabled. 
you know to sell to the uh, radio amateurs like myself it can be used um, on opened up between 25 and 30 megs you can use it on CB radio um, it will operate all mode CB radio obviously in the UK on the uh, FM frequency modulation uh, is legal um, but I guess for countries where you can use SSB like America uh, most parts of Europe these days uh, it can be used SSB when you uh, getting back to why I've come to the uh, talking about the PTT behind where that button is you, you peel the rubber coating off and there's a, a small part of the circuit board that uh, has some sol solder jumpers now if you look on CB tricks I believe it is on the internet this will show you how to uh, modify it uh, you need a steady hand and uh, if you're not too hot on soldering uh, I'd probably uh, steer clear and get someone who's a bit more competent to do it but there is uh, I think there's five pads behind there and you need to uh, desolder them with some braid take it off clean them up uh, I would recommend also you put some uh, probably masking tape around the plastic so you don't discolour it, melt it, you know. Uh, that's a good idea, I would think. Uh, and that will open it up 25 to 30 megs. Uh, or you can just have it as a multi EUCB, UK FM, you know, as you wish. So uh, it's all on the internet anyway if you want to do that. I'm obviously have to keep it just for uh, amateur radio use. Right, so uh, that's uh, about the transceiver. Uh, I'll come back to you in a few moments. Um, size wise, when I first saw this on the internet, it looked quite large in the pictures. I had some funny notion that it was a big radio. Uh, half the radio is obviously took up by battery, but uh, I'll, I'll come back to you in a moment and I'll show you size comparisons to uh, a couple of other handheld uh, radios I possess. Catch you in a moment. Right, we're back. Uh, just uh, showing you the physical size compared to other radios. Right, the radio uh, obviously on your left is the Magnum 1012, which we've uh, already been looking at. The radio in the middle is uh, a Yaesu VX7R, which uh, is a really, really small tri band handheld by uh, Yaesu in Japan. Um, the actual radio unit, the battery is on the back of this uh, small radio. Uh, the actual unit isn't physically much smaller than this this uh, Magnum, which obviously has uh, SSB involved. And then the one on your far right is uh, a 1981 realistic uh, two-channel TRC 1002 CB radio. Now. I think that just shows that um, for such a you know a multi-channel multi-mode radio physically it's not that large and it's not that much bigger than the VX7 which is a minute radio really uh, and you know a vast amount of money they, those are also so anyway we'll come back and have a, a, a look at uh, a few more of the features on the Magnum 1012 in a moment I hope that's shown you a few bits physically how large it is. Right, welcome back. Just showing you the uh, control of the unit. I apologise if I'm shaking a little. Not the easiest thing to review these radios. So when you turn it on, if you can see that it does tell you hello and then it uh, tells you the frequency. Obviously at the moment we're on the 10 metres. 28 megs as you can see right as I was telling you about the band the band button that used to be channel 9 and 19 this one here on this new unit goes between 10 and it's on 12 meters now 10 meters obviously you can see it tells you what mode it's uh, in you can see FM yeah AM, lower sideband, I think upper sideband, no lower sideband, FM, AM, upper and lower sideband, there you are. It does have an S meter, 
everything's enabled you can alter programming the uh, yeah frequency in the bottom that bottom button yeah you've got your PTT which is there you've also got your them two buttons I was telling you about that one and that one that's your frequency up and down it scans you can do all sorts with it yeah right we'll be back in a moment right I'm back and uh, that's just a, a small look at the Magnum 1012 uh, we will be doing a few on air tests with it shortly uh, hopefully if there's a little bit of propagation uh, today Sunday it's very uh, dead to say the least so uh, we will be doing some on air tests and with a couple of uh, local radio amateurs also to see uh, what they think the audio is like and uh, what the uh, receive RX audio is and uh, how it receives people also so uh, that will be coming very shortly thank you uh, very much again uh, to uh, Avera Electronics in the uh, Netherlands for sending the uh, unit over to me uh, prompt to good service as normal uh, thanks to all at uh, Magnum International uh, in the States also for helping me out like I say it's the new Mac 2 version with a few uh, up, uh, upgrades this one uh, I believe there is going to be a, a kit coming out you know with a charger um, an extension mic various other bits also so uh, well, I'll keep you posted uh, in the future coming months uh, to how it uh, performs and uh, what becomes available for it on that note thanks for watching the video Keep an eye open for the second one. Best 7 threes from Dave M0OGY. Can you see?